Okay. Now, a lot of people are really stupid. Hey, what do you hear? What do you say? My Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, your sister's ass, the Pony Express. A very ticked off big kid. You know what ticks me off? When people use the word literally and they have no idea what it fucking means and wind up sounding like fucking morons. Follow me. Now look, I'm no genius by any stretch. In fact, I'm a fucking moron, to be honest with you. I can't post-date a check. And if you ask me which train gets into the station sooner, the one going 60 miles an hour for four hours or the one going 40 miles an hour for eight hours, my answer is I hope both the fucking trains go off the tracks and over the fucking bridge and explode into a fireball. Got it? But I don't try to use fancy words that I don't know. Okay, gabish? So when someone uses the word literally wrong, it's like someone scratching their fingernails on the chalkboard to me. Now, for my younger fans, Google chalkboard. The word literally means something. You know what it means? It means exactly. Literally means exactly what you say is literally true. Literally real. Literally happened. So when you say my head literally blew off, your head better, better be unattached from your body and blown off or else you're a fucking idiot. And don't give me that bullshit like, oh, come on, don't be picky. Picky. How come you can use that word wrong, but I don't see you using other words that are easy to understand wrong also? I, I, I don't see you calling your house a squirrel or saying you're, you're happy when you're crying or telling the bank employee you, you'd like to make a defecation. No. If you learn that a word is being used wrong, you don't use it wrong anymore. All right. Now, 99% of people use the word literally, but they actually mean figuratively. They mean virtually. They mean non-literally. Your head blew off. Yeah, we get it. You were pissed off and you got mad. It's like your head felt like it was going to blow off. But if you say my head literally blew off, well, that's like saying monkeys actually came out of my ass. Okay, now, a lot of people are really stupid, and it's actually one of the biggest problems we have in this country today. The number of stupid people in this country, it's just mind-blowing, my opinion. We all know a person who says, for all intensive purposes, when it's supposed to be for all intents and purposes. We all know the dope who says, supposedly, instead of supposedly. And I've heard people on TV use the word integral instead of integral. Now, first of all, okay, it, it, it's one thing if you're using the word uh, wrong, like literally. But, but what makes the use of integral really scary is this. It's not even a word. Integral doesn't mean anything. And, and here we have sportscasters and interviewers actually using it on TV and radio. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, but people who use the word literally wrong drives me insane more than anything else because the meaning is crystal clear. Literally means literally. It means what I'm about to say is real. It is what it is. It is actually happening. Look, is this important? No. Do you really give a shit that I hate when people use the word literally wrong? No. But just maybe one person learned something from this video. And maybe this one person might decide to look at the world around them a, a little differently. Little, little more realistically, and maybe that helps our society be a little better, a little bit. People who use the word literally, and they have no idea what it fucking means, and wind up sounding like fucking morons. Do I care? I literally could not give a shit.